Greetings, and welcome to another presentation of Get Healthy on the Railroad, sponsored by Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama. At this time, we'd like to give a shout out to the Bridge Street Gallery and Lofts for graciously allowing us to videotape this program in their facility. Thanks for watching, and let's get started. Greetings, everybody. Yoga Dan here. Today we're going to be working on a 15-minute warm-up, yoga warm-up, and balancing. So let's get started. So let's do some deep breathing. Bring the arms up overhead and exhale back to Jolly Mudra. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Good job. Now let's go ahead and continue to do that, but we're going to inhale up and we're going to swan dive forward fold. Coming back up, forward fold. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Now watch me carefully. Inhaling up, exhale over to the side. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Up, exhale to the other side. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up. Now let's keep the arms in the air, keep the fingers, bring the feet together, and exhale over to the right. Getting a nice shoulder stretch, opening up. Come back through center. And exhale to the other side. Come back up through center and spawn dive forward fold. Now let your head be heavy. Sway side to side, shake it out. Let's come halfway up our hoes and us a monkey stretch. Exhale now. Let's roll up one vertebra at a time, all the way up to a standing position with shoulder roll to the back of the room. Ah, oh, boy, that feels good. Open up those shoulders. Arms come up. Exhale over to your right. Now looking down that uh, stretched arm, bend at the elbow of the back hand, fixing the tips of the fingers up on the delta weight. And then let's open up into archer. Lifting up, looking up. Bring those arms up overhead. Exhale over to the other side. Looking down that outstretched arm. Bend at the elbow. Tips of the fingers on the deltoid. Open up into archer. Exhale forward. Bring those arms up overhead and swan down. Once again, we're going to roll up one vertebra at a time. Shoulder roll. Hats come together. Cross the knuckles and push the hands out away from you. Bring the knuckles back to the chest. Rearrange the fingers and push out again. Let's do that five times. Rearrange the fingers, push it away. Rearrange the fingers, push it away. One more time. Now I want you to follow the backs of those knuckles as you bring those hands slowly up over your head. We're getting ready to come into our first balancing pose. So with the knuckles up, uh, up you're looking up at the knuckles, I want you to bring the feet together and slowly begin to bring the heels off the floor, balancing on the toes. Now only come up as high as you can hold the pose comfortably steady, uh, wobbling around, and then slowly lower those heels back to the floor and swan dive, forward fold. Let's leave that right hand on the floor, open up the left, and swap hands, open up the right. Down. Let's go ahead and step 
set the right foot straight back into a runner's lunge. The front knee needs to be stacked right over the ankle, toes in line forward. And we're going to come on up into a kneeling, uh, a standing crescent for Shandrasana pose. So you're balancing on that back heel. And we're going to float here. So you're going to exhale forward and inhale back up again. Moving with your breath again. Using all of these flows as a warm up. One more inhale up. We're going to come into airplane and hold it. So flatten the back, look up, arms out to the side, working on that core. Continue to breathe. And if you want to go a step further, you can bring that right arm across the left leg into a spinal twist. Oh yeah. We're doing some yoga now. Slowly coming back up into high lunge or crescent. And then let's go ahead and step back up into mountain. Excellent. And then we'll do all this on the other side. Lifting the left leg up. Generous step straight back. Come into runner's lunge. Stay on the ball of the foot, come on up into crescent. And we're going to float here. Exhaling forward, inhaling up. Moving with the breath, slowly, quietly. With the breath. One more inhale, and let's come into airplane and freeze. Anytime you hold the pose, you are working your core. Core is one of the five takeaways from our yoga practice. Very important as we get older to prevent that syndrome of I've fallen and I can't get up. You're not going to have that in your later life if you build your core now. Now bring that left arm across the right leg in a spinal twist. Balancing pose, lengthen and strengthen your left leg, bring the right knee up, plant to flex the foot down, left hand on right knee, right hand on the hip. Now you can stay here, or if you want, you can get a slow twist to the side and extend the arm away from you, looking back at the outstretched arm. Let's 
bend at the knees and come on up in the chair. Ugatasana. And balance on the toes. Again, we're working on that core. It's a great core builder right here. Works your quads, glutes, abs. Everything's getting worked here. Gonna hold it for a minute. Good 
job slowly coming back up again. And release. Keep those my arms in the air. We're going to go straight over to the other side. Plant that right foot into the floor. Lift the left up. Hinge at the hip. Slowly coming down. Leg in the arms. Parallel to the floor. of Get Healthy on the Railroad, sponsored by Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama. Once again, a lovely shout out to our friends at the Bridge Street Gallery and Loft for allowing us to use this wonderful facility to make this video presentation. I'm Yoga Dan, and until next time, namaste.